The Airport Authority has requested fiber optic service. This service will be provided by the local MSO or multiple service operator within that area. The critical business issue is they need high availability and performance for all of their core IT systems. Fiber is the best option to provide this service according to industry standards and quality of service agreements. Bentley Fiber provides design, reporting, and tracking of new and existing network infrastructure. The delta for the MSO is the starting of recurring revenue depending on the service requested by the airport authority. This view shows the proposed primary optical circuit review with a yellow highlighted trace from the central office to the premise termination point. This view shows how by selecting a port on a card, we can track a circuit from the racked equipment at the airport termination back to the MSO's central office, along the way providing detailed information throughout the network. First, let's start by using MicroStation saved views to locate the central office. We'll select the central office, then the screen. Now using the X section review tools within the fiber toolbar, we're going to review this duct bank. We'll select it. We actually see that the dialog comes up with four separate conduits, and you can see the fiber within the top two conduits. We'll select the one on the left, which is the primary. Now we'll get a cross-section review of the physical fiber number, buffer tube color, fiber color, and all the circuit information that resides within that sheath. So now, using our OS Circuit Manager, we see all the circuits that reside within this project. We're going to select primary, which is going to give us another cross-section so we see what buffer tube color and fiber color that it resides on. We can select primary and trace. This gives us a visual yellow highlight from the central office to the termination at the airport terminal with span distance information, circuit length, and total number of splices passed. We'll now do the same thing for the secondary circuit as well, just to make sure we have a diverse path. This will open the proper fiber sheath. I can select secondary, then trace. This will give me the same readout as before with a total number of splices and total circuit length. Now, using our saved views again, we'll select the fiber splice enclosure where both of the circuits reside so we can see the splicing details. So we'll select the screen, and using the Connections Manual tool within the Fiber Toolbar, this gives us the ability to open up the splice enclosure and review any of the splicing that goes on. Select the splice enclosure, and then we have red, which is going to be coming from the central office or from the light. We will select the proper sheath and we'll highlight red on the map. And then we can go to the green, which is going out to the airport. So we'll select that sheath so we can see the buffer tube color that we'll expand out. Anything that is in bold has a circuit name or a circuit ID on it. You can expand that out and look at the circuit name. So we see there's our primary circuit and for our diverse path on the other way, there's our secondary circuit. With all of the connection information residing in the middle of where it's coming from and where it's going to. Using our saved views, now we want to zoom into the airport terminal. So we'll select Terminal, select the screen, and there's our point of entry. So for this, we will need a different set of tools. So go Modules, Inside Plant, and then we have our Inside Plant tools. So now we need to connect the outside fiber to the inside equipment. By using the tool, we can actually select the rack itself. This will give us a sheath identification of the fiber coming into the airport. Select OK. Now we see the information that there are four fibers patched to the back of the patch panel and the corresponding information that goes along with it here. Now for the next information we need, we need inside to inside our patch cord information. We need connections, inside. We will select the rack twice. This gives us the ability to run patch cables between pieces of equipment. You'll see a visual representation now of the racks. So I'm going to preterm shelf on the left, connect it to the chassis on the right. Then I'll select connect in the middle. Now this gives me a visual representation of all of the patch cords that I have here using ID, length, 
color, the type of jumper, and the actual primary circuit name. In review, Bentley Communications provides quick design and review capabilities for today's highly complex networks.